There's been a couple of times so far that I've shown you the cycle button up here. The cycle button will repeat a section. So if I've got it, I can draw in the cycle region area at the top, and that picks my cycle range. And I can just repeat that section over and over. But one of the neat things that you could do with the cycle button is actually have access to multiple takes of audio recording. If you want to record something a couple of times and then it's going to take you a couple times to get it right, or you want to try out a lot of different ideas, you can use cycle and record to record that way efficiently. So I'm going to hit record and I'm going to try a couple of different ideas for the next guitar part. So I've got a bunch of different things in there, and I've got each one separated and saved as a take. You'll see a little number right here that says 6, and I'm looking at take 6 right now. I can click on this and go all the way back to take 1. Or I can go to take 3. So I have access to all those different takes that I made, and I can try out each one to see how it works. In fact, I can kind of construct something. If I split the region, I can start with take one, or I can start with take three in this case, and then go back to take one. So I can make this little Frankenstein take of all the different things I tried. And you can split it up and do that as much as you want. So with cycle recording, you can create a, a solo that or a section of a piece that you didn't even really play all at once. You kind of clobber it together. It's called comping or compositing a take.